you an example. When you opt in, we use this mic. Okay, you guys can hear me much better, right? When you opt in into the name's speech page, okay, uh, who's the person behind that web page? Okay, people don't buy, and you know you don't really need to have a. I mean, people don't buy if they don't actually know you personally. Okay, so if you have a huge list and you're still not making sales, there's obviously there is a problem, and this is a problem that is common a lot of uh, that's common with a lot of beginning marketers. You know, the inability to bond with your list, the inability to have a relationship with your list, and the inability to basically get people to even read your emails. Okay, so all these can be solved with a blog. Okay, so. Uh, as I said, we'll walk you through the whole process of setting up a WordPress blog. It's very easy, okay? But what you want to do is use this blog, right, to let your subscribers know who you are. And use this blog as a mechanism to deliver content to them, usable content, and at the same time, be able to pitch to them as well. Okay, so your blog can make you money in a number of ways. First of all, if you have a, a blog, you can put AdSense on your blog, so that makes you money, okay? Secondly, uh, there'll be all the links to the right and you can make money with uh, affiliate links on your blog as well. Okay, now obviously uh, the blog works just like some HTML editor. So, you know, in the context of the content itself, you can recommend certain things as well. Okay, so what is the, the this is where, you know, you bond with your subscribers, you deliver content to them and you also pitch to them. Okay, this is what the blog is for. Okay, now uh, let me just give you guys a critic, right? Uh, Chang Chang, you mind if I use your blog? If, you, if I critic your blog, the same thing. Uh, what, what was it? Raising, <coughs> raising confidence. Raising confidence. All right, it's better to look at someone's real blog and then you know what kind of mistakes to avoid. Right? Okay, let's look at uh, let's just look at Chang Chang's blog over here. Okay. <coughs> Now, uh, one of the things that I told Ching Ching was this. Um, so you have all those subscribers there, okay? But if you look at the content over there, it's not as bad content, but it looks like some article in Parenting Magazine. All right, and I asked her, and she told me that, uh, this is what you said, right? You send it as is, as an email to your subscribers, okay? So the problem is, uh, if you email your friend, right? Do you email uh, something that looks like this? You probably don't, right? It'll be a real email, right? It's not a, it's like, this is something that's like an article, which is why if I email you all this stuff, you probably don't have time to read or you won't even want to read it, all right? So first, that, that's a big mistake, all right? The content is not bad. It's just that you shouldn't use it in your email contact strategy. Your email should be something that uh, is very, very short and sweet. It's like from a friend to another friend, all right? So, the, the first question that I asked Cheng Cheng was, uh, how is that I do not see a picture of you on your blog? All right, do I know who Cheng Cheng is? If I'm a subscriber, I don't think I really know. May, uh, is your picture on your profile? No, right? So you're totally anonymous, all right? And then there's this lady who sends me articles like this, but I do not know who Cheng Cheng is, okay? So uh, the first thing that you want to learn about you know, having an effective blog is, you know, make sure that you have a picture or something like that, that where people know, you know, without a doubt, this is you, okay? Now, secondly, uh, I was also telling Ron, okay, Ron behind, who is uh, who's selling golfing stuff, okay, golf information. Uh, I told Ron, you know, with a blog, you can do something crazy, like hold up a, pic a picture of you with a golf club, right, and say, uh, does the price of the golf club really matter when it comes to improving your golf swing. Right, then you can go ahead and write your thoughts about you know, how you think that you know, it's really not the price tag of the golf club. Okay? And uh, one of the things that you and I do, okay, and you can model that, is that we like to put our pictures on the blog and all that stuff. And sometimes, uh, even though we blog about internet marketing, we'll place seemingly unrelated stuff. Uh, like maybe you will put a picture of his wife when they were in Disneyland, or me, you know, like giving Mickey Mouse a punch or something like that. Something that makes me human, right? So you need to have the kind of human touch on your blog, okay? So, uh, the, you guys got the point about the blog, right? So with the emails, uh, it's very easy 
just think of your subscribers as a one of the things that I like to do on a consistent basis and to get people to even know me even better is to use audio. Okay? Now, uh, when you send people an email, okay, it gets boring when I keep sending you like written stuff. Okay? Somehow when you hear a person's voice, regardless of whether you have an accent or not, you sort of you know, know that guy. And if you have a picture of yourself on your blog or something like that, you can sort of put the two and two together. Okay.